part two. Here we go. This is uh, part two of the, the alert view. And we're going to be going through inserting the programming behind the scenes for what we want to display this alert view. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a button on the, the alert view view controller. And that's basically going to send the message to our UI alert view method saying, hey, display me now. So that's what we're going to do is take a button, throw it anywhere on the screen, and then we're just going to give it a quick title of display alert. Once you get that finished, um, you gotta you gotta think back to the previous um, tutorial where we we added the navigation controller, but there was no class associated to that view controller, and so we couldn't put any any source code or any programming behind the scenes for that view controller unless there's a class associated. So again, I'll show you. Go to your view controller and go to the identity up at the top and you'll see that we don't have any class associated to this specific view controller. And so we can't even display an alert without this class being there. So let's let's go ahead and uh, insert another class. So you can right click over the left where your files are at and put in a new file or you can just go file, new files, every, so on and so forth. But then we're going to go to the UI view controller subclass and we're going to say hey develop this class for us so we can associate it to our view controller. We're just going to call this the alert class. Does it, you can spell it whatever, you can have it to any name. Just make sure you capitalize the first letter and then if you're going to do anything else make sure you capitalize any other new words that you put in there. Just kind of uh, so you can see where it is later. Alright, we're going to make sure that we're a subclass of the UI view controller because we are a view controller and not a uh, table view or any other instances of view controllers. We're going to make sure we're targeted for the iPad. We're going to leave off the XIB for the interface because the storyboard holds that all for us. So go ahead and create your class and save it within a, whatever folder you'd like there. Make sure it's within your project there, of course. And so off to the left, you'll see that we have our, our header file and our implementation file that is generated over to the left. Now what we're going to do is go back to the storyboard and once you have the view controller specified or clicked, um, we're going to associate that class with this particular view controller. So we're going to type an alert, <clears throat> and now we've synchronized the two. So now any code that we put in the alert um, class, it's going to be associated to this view controller here. So now we're going to open up the assistant editor here, and we're going to we're going to link up this button here. And as you can see, the assistant editor pulled up a, what we used last, and we don't want to hook up our button to the second view controller. We want to hook it up to the alert view controller that is associated with our view controller. So now go over, select your button, hold control, drag, and drop over in the header file there. And instead of this being an outlet, this is going to be an action. And this is basically what is going to show our alert. So we can just put uh, show alert as our button action there and as far as these default settings down here those are going to be fine for our particular needs here. So go ahead and connect it. And so now we've got that within the .h or the header file. The next thing that we have to do is we have to go into the implementation, the alert.m and we basically have to write what that alert is going to do once it's clicked. And so if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see that uh, the IB action show alert that we just established in our header file has now appeared at the bottom. And this is where we're going we're gonna, to uh, write our alert view. We're going to tell once the button's been clicked or this action has been taken place, we want our alert view to show up. So we're going to start with going alert UI alert view. And then we're going to name this uh, just alert. And then we're going to allocate. Alloc. and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in it with title and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the standalone editor go over my alert.m so we can take up the whole screen here and then scroll down to the bottom where we've got this established and so as you can see by putting in it with uh, title it provides us with all these different options here we've got 100 different options we could do here. 
So let's go through each one. So the title is going to be the, the box that pops up and what it says as the title. So we're going to put this string as just uh, what's up. And then you can see that the next one here is going to be our message. And I'm going to go ahead and return after that just so we can break them apart um, for further reference here. So now the message is going to be what the what it says within the text box. Um, so we're going to put uh, in here, we got your back on learning. All right, and again, it's a string, so we have to start it off with this, the at symbol, and uh, provided that it's in quotations, so it recognizes that string as well. And hold on, it looks like I, there we go. I, for some reason, I dragged the god over here, and that wasn't right. Anyways, the next line is the delegate, so we're going to hit return and line those up. And the dele delegates, we're not going to use in this case, but let's just say if we had an action that we wanted to result out of this alert, we would uh, we would establish this delegate. It's a little bit further ahead of where we are where we are with the tutorials. But for this, uh, we're just going to put nil because we don't want any actions coming out of the delegate at this point. All right, so the next one we've got a cancel button title, and this is going to be um, just what it says. It's basically cancel button is going to be okay a button on screen what do we want it to say to uh, to cancel the alert view and so we can prompt the user by saying something like you know okay and so when they click okay the alert disappear, dis disappears and so that basically just prompts them gives them an option to get rid of the alert view once they've read the the alert then we follow it up with other button titles and in this case we're just going to delete these out and we'll go into this a little bit further later and so basically you just have nil for now which which is gonna signify that there's gonna be no other buttons on screen so now go ahead and finish out your square bracket add a semicolon to the end and there's one last thing that we have to do and that is gonna be we have to we have to tell um, this method that we want something to display and so in this case we want um, our alert to show and we're gonna put this in square brackets and finish it off with a semicolon there alright so it looks like we've got a few errors here and we're just gonna click and see it looks like expected expected something or other and here oh okay so we forgot a an equal sign here which should resolve all those because basically it was thinking we we're establishing an array or something like that and really we just forgot the the equal sign there so my bad on that but anyways once you've got all this code in line um, we should be good to go as far as clicking the button seeing if the display works so go ahead and run your application and we'll test it out alright so we'll click the third tab here go to the alert view and now we'll click the button and there we go we've got a title that says what up and then it says uh, our message we got your back on learning and then we've got the cancel button which is just set to OK which the user can click and the display disappears so hopefully that helps with the display alert view in the next tutorial we'll go through some of the additional things you can do with the alert view and uh, make your application applicable for whatever you guys are doing out there alright we'll uh, catch you guys in the next tutorial